so in this video we are going to fetch the products through by using the javascript so right now we have temporarily added this and uh, i will remove all the borders from here because i don't need this anymore and uh, i i will fetch all these data by using the javascript so come uh, come to this code base and in the assets fold uh, assets i will make a new folder called scripts and in the script folder i will make a new file called main.js you can name whatever you want it and let me change the syntax to javascript so now it's javascript and uh, firstly i will link this javascript to our index file so come to here and i already link this so let's see if it's working or not so try to log out something so like uh, i will print working and save this now come here and if i inspect the element and click on console so there is nothing here if i refresh this again and again open this okay there is nothing i think the we have not successfully linked this so check out what's the problem here so index.html in the assets okay so basically it's css not uh, javascript so i have to use a script src and it will be assets script main.js save this now let's see how it's look so you can see it's working properly now we can try to fetch the data so leave it as it is and come to the code base in the main.js now we don't need to do anything with this main.css so move it little right and close the sidebar now and let me increase the font also okay so remove this and uh, firstly we will use we will try to fetch the data so we don't have any api but you can use api to fetch the data but uh, we will be fetching all the data from this json file which is this data dot json you can go and take it from the github and let me put it in the script section and i can use this file to fetch the data so this file basically have everything and uh, like uh, id company logo role name these like things and uh, requirements intro okay so it have lot of data which we can use to design our website so come to main.js and try to fetch that data so to fetch the data we have a function called fetch where we pass the path from which from where we want to fetch the data so right now i want to fetch the data from a directory if i want to fetch data from url then i can type url in these commas so i can use data dot json and after fetching the data i will store that data to jobs because it provides me jobs or let's say data okay and now try to log out this data so console log data and i need to enter json so that it provide me data in a properly formatted manner and in a json format so save this and let's see if it's working so data.json is not a function i think i have not i should not provide this let's see if it's work again okay it says undefined and this is 
this is undefined because javascript when come to this first line then it sees that it will take some time to fetch the data so javascript skip this step and quickly jump into this console.log statement that's and since it has not fetched anything from here that's why the value of data.json is undefined so what we can do is we can use await and async here you can google and do some study on that so await save this and now try to await is only added okay we can't add it here so let's try to properly format this i will make a async function so when we use await then we have to we can use basically await in this async function so let me type await again here and i can now i can use this await only in a function which is async so i am making a async function so to make any function async we can we can put this async keyword after that function so async function and the name will be like fetch data or call this fetch jobs it don't take any argument and uh, copy all cut all this and save here okay now to make it clear let's uh, job equal to data dot json and now i can try to log out this data so it will return me these jobs i save this and i will make another function this function is also a async function and this function will let's say show job and what it will do it will take the fetch and uh, take uh, all the jobs from this function and display them so firstly it will take patch all jobs and display on parts okay and to fetch all data we can use let jobs equal to jobs equal to fetch data sorry fetch jobs and uh, like this and i need to use await here so await basically means that uh, like if we use await here that means i have to wait until javascript completely fetch all the data from the json file so that's same wait here that uh, until it the function doesn't return complete all jobs data then javascript should wait here and after that move on forward so to display on cards i will just simply log out so i don't want to dis display anything currently jobs save this and now to run this function i will use document dot on load so whenever document completely load it will be executed so that function is so jobs save this and come to our code base and it says 
अनकोट सिंटेक्स एरर सिंटेक्स टोकन एंड इट सेज जेसन नॉट फाउंड ओके लेट मी सी वॉट्स द प्रॉब्लम हेयर so it's trying to fetch the data from from main uh, from here but uh, it's not present so we can use basically like so to resolve this error i can type the full path here like this assets assets and in the assets i have a script folder and after that i have data and json because it asking more me for complete path that's why i type full path here and if i open this again so you can see i have this array of all the data fetched from the from data.json file so i can use these to show on the home page sorry these cards so come back here and i need to make a function which can show the data so i think this is enough for this video and i will show that how to do that in the next video so thanks for watching and see you in the next video